Hey everyone, welcome back to Miniature Painting 101, a series of videos where we teach you all about painting miniatures from start to finish and everything in between. And this is part 74, Glowing Eyes. It's requested by you. Uh, people want to see a, just a, how to do a mild glowing effect on the eyes of helmets. So I'll be using this uh, Tactical Marine from the Dark Angels faction of Space Marines. And I'll create a, just a minor glowing effect on the eyes. I don't really like uh, too strong glowing effects. I just tend to do minor. And uh, I think less is more. And today I'll be using four different colors. Reds and oranges, essentially. Mephiston Red. Evil Sun Scarlet. Wild Rider Red. And Troll Slayer Orange. And I'll be using a combination. So we'll start off with Mephiston Red. Of course, add it to our palette. We're going to thin it down slightly so it's easier to use and less clumpy because we're doing so many layers of reds. You don't want any of them to be too thick because then it'll just really show the brush strokes and be really clumpy. And the key to this tutorial is uh, two things. Number one, we're going to use two different consistencies. The first one is for the eye part. The second one is for the glowing part. So we're going to thin it down slightly for the eyes and then we're going to thin it down even more basically to the consistency of a glaze for the, uh, the glow effect. And the second key is you start off with the darkest color, work your way towards the lightest. And for the glow effect, you start furthest away. Basically, we're going to create a gradient going further um, at the beginning. And then each step after that, we're going less and less away from the eyes. Because the closer it is to the eyes, the brighter it will be. Therefore, the lighter the color. So once again, start off with my fist on red. Get it in the eyes. And then the key is, once again, after I, I paint the eyes with this, I'm going to thin it down even more to the consistency of about a glaze. So it's, it's very thin. And then we're going to take this, um, this Mephiston Red that is much thinner and use that to create the glow effect. So now I'm going to just take a brush and I'm going to uh, slowly work my way down below the eyes uh, towards the, basically the cheekbones of the helmet. Now for glow effect, based on the dynamics of this specific helmet, the glow would not be going upwards. It would, it would not be going past basically where the eyebrows are on the helmet because just where the angles are lying. So um, the, for the glow effect, I'll only be working my way downwards towards the helmet. Now if you have a flat face, then you could possibly do it you know, both up and down. But for this effect, I'm just going to glaze uh, towards the cheekbones. You can see it just line by line, following basically the same pattern as the, as the eyes, the shape of the eyes downwards. And that's essentially it, what we're going to be doing in this tutorial. And uh, we're going to let it dry, because as you see, now it's, it's much, it, it's very thin. It has just a tint to it, essentially, on the cheekbones. And then we're going to repeat this process with Evil Sun's Scarlet, once again with one consistency. And this part we're going to focus, and for each step, we're going to focus more towards the center of the eyes uh, with the light colors. And then for the cheekbones, after we thin it down to about a glaze, we're going to work away, you know, once again, we're just going to start at the eyes and work away slightly less downwards each time. So this one is only going to go about half the way down that it did the previous step for the uh, the glaze part of the glow effect. So now instead of with just a nice fine brush, work my way from the eye about halfway down the, as the, as the previous step. Kind of really exaggerates the eyes. And, uh, and that's essentially it. Then for the next color, once that's completely dry uh, and you're happy with the, the effect, as I said, it's just it's going on one layer at a time. So it's creating that very subtle glow effect from the eyes downwards. And as I said, it shouldn't be going upwards based on the dynamics of this helmet. The next with Wild Rider Red, um, once again I focus on the, just the central part of the eye, so the more central each time, because it's kind of where like the, I'm going to create the kind of where the light source is kind of coming from, and then for the glaze part of this step, I really focused on the very edge of the bottom part of the eye, which you'll see later. It just re I want to really make that bright because that's kind of where the light would be kind of reflecting in certain angles and be a little bit brighter than the. Uh, than the one on the cheekbone. So as I said, and then finally, for Troll Slayer Orange, all I did was a central dot in the very center of the eye, kind of like a pupil, and uh, and then focus a little bit on the on the on the cheek as to the ridge of the eye as well to make it a little bit brighter with the glaze. But that's essentially it. Now that we have um, our eyes are much brighter than the cheekbones, does that make sense? Because they're the source of the lights, and now we have a very just. Uh, it, 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 I really like kind of less is more with these effects, but uh, that's it. Now you have a glowing eye effect. As you can see, the eye is very bright, and it does definitely look like the eyes are bright, are glowing, and uh, 
putting light downwards on the cheeks. And the, this is the key is to start um, with the darkest color furthest away from the eyes and then work your way towards the eyes essentially with each glaze. And then as you can see that ridge on the bottom of the eye is kind of where the brightest part of the glow effect is because it is the closest part to the pupil itself. So that's, uh, that's it. That's essentially how to create a glowing effect on a helmet. So as always, thank you so much for watching this episode of Miniature Painting 101. I really hope you enjoyed it and learned a bit. All is good. And stay tuned for part 75. Next week's episode which is just around the corner. But if you don't want to wait for next week, check out The Warp. Click on the link below for a free 14-day trial to my premium YouTube channel where not only you get to see the next six months or the Miniature Painting 101 episodes before anyone else, you'll get to see over 60 start-to-finish painting tutorials, dozens of battle reports, face-off episodes, Airbrush 101 series, just some awesome more gaming content. Go ahead and check out the warp. I think you'll love it. Plus, it helps support my channel. So thank you so much for watching. Until next time, this is Jay saying, happy painting, everyone.